Welcome to Miss Scarlet. Subscribe and don't miss out on Patreon. Have fun! Amaya nervously paced the living room, straightening throw pillows and adjusting picture frames. Her heart raced as she glanced at the clock for the tenth time in as many minutes. Bentley would be home from work soon, and she had something important to discuss with him. The front door creaked open, and Amaya's breath caught in her throat. This was it. She smoothed her floral sundress and plastered on what she hoped was a casual smile. Hey, babe, I'm home, Bentley called out, the jingle of keys hitting the side table, punctuating his arrival. He strolled into the living room, loosening his tie. How was your day? Oh, you know, the usual, Amaya replied, her voice a touch higher than normal. She cleared her throat. Actually, there's something I wanted to talk to you about. Bentley's brow furrowed as he took in her nervous demeanor. Everything okay? Amaya patted the couch cushion next to her. Come sit with me. He obliged, sinking into the soft fabric. Amaya took a deep breath, gathering her courage. So, you know how we've always said we want to be open and honest with each other, right? Bentley nodded slowly. Of course. What's on your mind? Well, I've been thinking a lot lately about... about gender expression and how sometimes people might feel drawn to explore different aspects of themselves. Amaya's words tumbled out in a rush. I was wondering if you'd ever thought about experimenting with your own gender presentation? Bentley blinked, clearly taken aback. I'm not sure I follow. What do you mean exactly? Amaya reached for his hand, giving it a gentle squeeze. I mean, have you ever been curious about trying on more feminine clothing or makeup, just to see how it feels? A myriad of emotions flickered across Bentley's face. Confusion, surprise, and something else Amaya couldn't quite place. He opened his mouth to speak, then closed it again. It's okay if you haven't, Amaya rushed to add. I just wanted you to know that if you ever did want to explore that side of yourself, I'd support you completely. Bentley was quiet for a long moment, his gaze fixed on their intertwined hands. When he finally spoke, his voice was barely above a whisper. I... I have thought about it, but I never knew how to bring it up. Amaya's heart soared. She'd suspected as much noticing the way Bentley's eyes would linger on her dresses, or how he'd watch her apply makeup with rapt attention. Really? Do you want to tell me more about it? Bentley's cheeks flushed. It's hard to explain. Sometimes I just wonder what it would be like to feel... pretty. To wear soft fabrics and delicate things. He shook his head. But it's silly, right? Not at all, Amaya said firmly. There's nothing silly about exploring different aspects of yourself. In fact, she stood up, holding out her hand. What would you think about trying something on right now? Bentley's eyes widened. Right now? I don't know, Amaya. What if I look ridiculous? She smiled encouragingly. Then we'll have a good laugh about it. But I have a feeling you might surprise yourself. Come on, what do you say? After a moment's hesitation, Bentley took her hand and allowed himself to be led to the bedroom. Amaya threw open her closet doors, rifling through hangers until she found what she was looking for, a simple black dress with a sweetheart neckline. Here, try this on, she said, holding it out to him. I think it'll suit your coloring. Bentley took the dress, running his fingers over the soft fabric. I don't even know how to put this on, he admitted with a nervous chuckle. Amaya smiled. 
that's okay. I'll help you. But first, let's get you out of those work clothes. She helped him unbutton his shirt, her fingers brushing against his chest. Bentley shivered at the touch, a mix of nerves and excitement coursing through him. Once he was down to his boxers, Amaya held up the dress. Arms up, she instructed, slipping the garment over his head. She smoothed it down his body, adjusting the fit. There. How does that feel? Bentley ran his hands over the dress, marveling at the way it clung to his frame. It's different, but nice. Really nice. Amaya beamed. You look beautiful. Come see for yourself. She led him to the full-length mirror in the corner of the room. Bentley gasped softly as he took in his reflection. The dress accentuated curves he never knew he had, creating a silhouette that was undeniably feminine. His broad shoulders and flat chest looked softer somehow, more delicate. Whoa, he breathed. I never thought I could look like this. Amaya wrapped her arms around him from behind, resting her chin on his shoulder. You're stunning. How do you feel? I feel... free, Bentley said, a smile spreading across his face. Like I'm seeing a part of myself I've kept hidden for so long. Amaya pressed a kiss to his cheek. I'm so proud of you for being open to this. Would you like to try some makeup too? Bentley nodded eagerly. Yes, please. They spent the next hour experimenting with different products. Amaya showed him how to apply foundation, blush, and mascara. By the time she finished with a swipe of pink lipstick, Bentley was hardly recognizable. Oh my god, he whispered, leaning in close to the mirror. Is that really me? Amaya squeezed his hand. It is! And you're absolutely radiant! Bentley turned to her, eyes shining. Thank you for this, for understanding and encouraging me. I never thought I'd have the courage to explore this side of myself. You don't have to thank me, Amaya said softly. I love you, all of you, including the parts you're just beginning to discover. They spent the rest of the evening cuddled on the couch, Bentley still wearing the dress and makeup. They talked for hours about his feelings, his fears, and his hopes for the future. Amaya listened attentively, offering support and reassurance. As the night wore on, Bentley yawned, the excitement of the day catching up with him. I should probably get changed and wash this off, he said reluctantly. Amaya shook her head. Only if you want to. You can sleep in the dress if you'd like, and we can explore more tomorrow if you're comfortable with that. Bentley's face lit up. I'd love that. Maybe, maybe we could go shopping for some clothes of my own? Absolutely, Amaya agreed. We'll make a day of it. As they settled into bed that night, Bentley in his borrowed dress and Amaya in her usual pajamas, there was a palpable sense of change in the air. They'd taken the first steps on a new journey together, one that promised self-discovery and deeper understanding. Amaya snuggled close to Bentley, breathing in the familiar scent of his skin, mingled with the new fragrance of her perfume. Sweet dreams, beautiful, she murmured. Bentley smiled, feeling truly at peace for the first time in years. Good night, my love, and thank you for everything. As they drifted off to sleep, both Bentley and Amaya knew that their relationship had evolved into something even more special. They faced the future with excitement and open hearts, ready to embrace whatever new experiences lay ahead. The next morning, Bentley woke to sunlight streaming through the curtains. For a moment, he was disoriented, feeling the unfamiliar fabric of the dress against his skin. Then, the memories of the previous night came flooding back, 
and a smile spread across his face. He carefully extricated himself from Amaya's embrace and padded to the bathroom. The person staring back at him in the mirror was a startling blend of familiar and foreign. His makeup was smudged from sleep, giving him a soft, dreamy appearance. The dress was wrinkled, but still clung to his form in a way that made his heart skip a beat. Bentley leaned in close, studying his reflection. He'd always been told he had delicate features for a man. High cheekbones, full lips, long lashes. But seeing those features enhanced by makeup, framed by the feminine neckline of the dress, it was like looking at a completely different person. A person he'd always sensed was there, hiding just beneath the surface. Good morning, beautiful. Amaya's voice came from the doorway. She wrapped her arms around Bentley's waist, resting her chin on his shoulder. How did you sleep? Bentley leaned back into her embrace. Better than I have in years, honestly. I feel... I don't know how to describe it. Light? Free? Amaya pressed a kiss to his cheek. I'm so glad. Are you ready for our shopping adventure today? A flutter of nervousness mixed with excitement in Bentley's stomach. I think so, but what if people stare or say something? Amaya turned him to face her, cupping his face in her hands. Then we'll deal with it together. But remember, you don't owe anyone an explanation. You're exploring and expressing yourself, and that's beautiful. Bentley nodded, drawing strength from her words. You're right. Okay, let's do this. They spent the morning getting ready, Amaya helping Bentley freshen up his makeup and style his hair in a more feminine way. They decided it would be best for him to wear his regular clothes to the mall, bringing along a few of Amaya's dresses to try on in the fitting rooms. As they drove to the mall, Bentley's leg bounced nervously. Amaya reached over and gave his knee a reassuring squeeze. It's going to be okay. We'll start small. Maybe just look at some accessories first. And if it gets overwhelming, we can leave any time. Bentley took a deep breath, nodding. Thanks. I'm nervous, but excited too. I never thought I'd be doing something like this. They arrived at the mall and made their way inside. Bentley felt like everyone was staring at him, even though logically he knew he looked no different than usual. Amaya sensed his discomfort and linked her arm through his, offering silent support. Their first stop was a small boutique that specialized in vintage-inspired clothing. Amaya led Bentley to a display of delicate silk scarves. These are a great way to add a feminine touch to any outfit, she explained, draping a pale blue one around his neck. What do you think? Bentley admired his reflection in a nearby mirror. The soft fabric felt amazing against his skin, and the color brought out the blue in his eyes. I love it, he said softly. Encouraged by this small success, they moved on to jewelry. Bentley was drawn to a pair of pearl drop earrings. These are gorgeous, he murmured, holding them up to his ears. They'd look stunning on you, Amaya agreed. Why don't you get them? You can always wear them at home if you are not ready to go out with them yet. Bentley nodded, adding the earrings and scarf to their purchase pile. As they continued shopping, he grew more confident in his choices. They picked out a flowy blouse, a knee-length skirt, and a pair of low heels that miraculously fit his feet. Finally, it was time to try on dresses. Amaya ushered Bentley into a fitting room with an armful of options. Take your time, she said. I'll be right outside if you need help. Bentley's hands shook slightly as he unzipped his jeans and pulled off his t-shirt. He took a moment to center himself before reaching for the first dress, a simple wrap style in a deep emerald green. As he slipped it on, 
adjusting the fabric to fall properly, a sense of rightness washed over him. He turned to look in the mirror and gasped softly. The dress hugged his waist and flared out at the hips, creating a feminine silhouette that took his breath away. Amaya? He called out. Can you come see? She slipped into the fitting room, her eyes widening as she took in the sight of him. Oh, Bentley, she breathed. You look absolutely incredible. Bentley smiled, a mixture of shyness and pride on his face. Really? You don't think it looks weird on me? Amaya shook her head emphatically. Not at all. It's like this dress was made for you. How do you feel in it? I feel beautiful, Bentley admitted. Like I'm finally seeing the person I've always been inside. They tried on a few more dresses, but kept coming back to the emerald green one. As they made their purchases, Bentley felt a surge of excitement mixed with trepidation. These clothes represented a huge step in his journey of self-discovery. Back at home, Bentley couldn't wait to try everything on again. He disappeared into the bedroom while Amaya waited in the living room. When he emerged, he was a vision in the green dress, pearl earrings glinting at his ears and the blue scarf artfully draped around his neck. Amaya's eyes filled with happy tears. Look at you she said softly. You're glowing. Bentley twirled, letting the skirt of the dress flare out around him. I never knew I could feel like this, he admitted. So comfortable in my own skin. They spent the rest of the evening talking about what this meant for Bentley's identity and their relationship. Amaya reassured him that her love was unconditional no matter how he chose to express himself. I don't know exactly where this journey will lead, Bentley said, but I do know that I want to keep exploring this side of myself. Is that okay with you? Amaya pulled him close, mindful of wrinkling his beautiful new dress. More than okay. I'm honored to be by your side through all of this. We'll figure it out together, one day at a time. As they settled in for the night, Bentley carefully hung up his new clothes. He ran his fingers over the soft fabrics, marveling at how such simple items could represent such a profound change in his life. He climbed into bed beside Amaya, feeling a sense of peace he'd never experienced before. Thank you, he whispered into the darkness, for seeing me, the real me. Amaya pulled him close, pressing a kiss to his forehead. Always, she murmured. Sweet dreams, my love. As they drifted off to sleep, both Bentley and Amaya knew that this was just the beginning of a beautiful new chapter in their lives. Whatever challenges lay ahead, they would face them together, with open hearts and minds. The following weeks were a whirlwind of discovery for Bentley. With Amaya's unwavering support, he began to explore his feminine side more openly at home. Each day brought new experiences and revelations. One sunny afternoon, Amaya came home to find Bentley in the kitchen, wearing a floral apron over one of his new dresses. The scent of freshly baked cookies filled the air. Well, isn't this a lovely surprise? Amaya said, setting down her bag and moving to embrace Bentley from behind. Bentley leaned back into her touch, a contented sigh escaping his lips. I was feeling domestic today, he explained. Something about wearing this dress made me want to channel my inner 1950s housewife. Amaya laughed, pressing a kiss to his cheek. You make an adorable housewife. But you know you don't have to conform to any stereotypes, right? You can be feminine without falling into traditional gender roles. Bentley nodded, turning to face her. I know. I'm just... 
Trying things on for size, I guess. Figuratively and literally. He gestured to the dress with a wry smile. And how does it feel? Amaya asked, genuinely curious. Bentley considered for a moment. Freeing, in a way. But also, a bit confusing. I love how I feel in these clothes. How I look. But I'm not sure if that means I want to live as a woman full-time, or if this is just a part of who I am. Amaya took his hands in hers, giving them a reassuring squeeze. You don't have to have all the answers right now. This is a journey, remember? You're allowed to explore and change your mind as many times as you need to. Bentley's eyes welled up with grateful tears. What did I do to deserve you? You're you, Amaya said simply. That's more than enough. As the days passed, Bentley grew more comfortable in his feminine presentation. He started wearing light makeup, even on days when he dressed in his typical male clothing, enjoying the boost of confidence it gave him. One evening, as they were getting ready for a dinner out with friends, Bentley hesitated in front of his closet. Amaya noticed his indecision and came to stand beside him. "'What's on your mind?' she asked, gently. Bentley bit his lip, his hand hovering between a button-down shirt and the emerald green dress he'd bought on their shopping trip. "'I... I think I want to wear the dress tonight,' he said quietly. "'But I'm scared.' Amaya wrapped an arm around his waist. Scared of what, specifically? What our friends will think, what strangers will think, if I'll be able to handle the stares or comments. Bentley's voice trembled slightly. Amaya turned him to face her, her expression serious. Listen to me. You are strong, you are beautiful, and you have nothing to be ashamed of. Our real friends will support you no matter what. And as for strangers, their opinions don't matter. But if anyone says anything hurtful, I'll be right there beside you. Bentley took a deep breath, drawing strength from her words. You're right. I want to do this. I need to do this. With Amaya's help, Bentley got dressed and did his makeup. As they stood side by side in the mirror, Amaya couldn't help but marvel at the transformation Bentley had always been attractive, but now he positively glowed with a newfound confidence. You look stunning, she said, pressing a kiss to his cheek, carefully to avoid smudging his lipstick. Bentley smiled, a mix of nervousness and excitement in his eyes. Thank you, for everything. The dinner went better than either of them could have hoped. Their friends were initially surprised, but quickly rallied with support and compliments. Bentley relaxed as the evening went on, laughing and chatting as his usual self, just in a prettier package. As they walked home hand in hand, Bentley felt a profound sense of peace settle over him. I think, he said slowly, that I'm starting to figure out who I really am. Amaya squeezed his hand. And who is that? Bentley smiled, the streetlights casting a soft glow on his face. Someone who doesn't want to be confined by traditional gender norms. Someone who can be masculine or feminine or anywhere in between, depending on how I feel. Is there a word for that? Gender fluid, maybe? Amaya suggested. Or non-binary? But you don't have to label yourself if you don't want to. Bentley nodded thoughtfully. I like gender fluid. It feels right, like I'm finally giving a name to something I've felt my whole life. They stopped walking, Amaya turning to face Bentley. I'm so proud of you, she said softly, for having the courage to explore this part of yourself, for being true to who you are. Bentley's eyes shimmered with unshed tears. I couldn't have done it without you. 
Your love and support mean everything to me. Amaya pulled him close, mindful of wrinkling his dress. You've always had my heart, she murmured, no matter how you choose to express yourself. As they resumed their walk home, Bentley felt as though a weight had been lifted from his shoulders. Thanks for watching my girlies! Be sure to check out Patreon for more!